Today, we learned how to solve problems using a graph. Uh, here's today's problem of the day. It says Allison's planning on going to a carnival to go on rides. It costs $6 for admission and 90 cents for each ride. So we start by writing an equation. Uh, the cost is equal to $6, that's the admission, plus 90 cents per ride. Now up until now, we've been using equations to solve this. So for number two, what would be her total cost if she rode five rides? We could, to solve that for, to solve the total cost, all we have to do is plug five in for r in our equation. So number two would be c equals six plus 0.90 times, instead of r, five. And this is what we've been doing all along, where we would just plug it in, calculate it, $10.50, and that would be our answer. But today we learned that we could find a very similar or very close to the same answer using our graph. So right over here, I have the graph of the costs. So all we have to do is find five in the number of rides right here, go up along the grid line until we hit the graph and look over. And we could have gotten a pretty good estimate for that answer just from that quick little three second look at the graph. It's about, it's a little more than 10. I'd say it's about 11. So using the graph, we could estimate that it was about $11. Using the equation, we know it's $10.50. So the equation is more exact, but the graph is quicker. We'll do another one. Number three. Allison only brought $20 with her. How many rides can she go on? Okay. The way we've been doing it is we've been taking our equation, replacing 20, the cost, in for C. So we have 20 equals 6 plus 0.90R. And then we just solve this algebraically. And we've been solving it for a while. We minus 6 on both sides. We get 14 equals 0.90 times R. Divide both sides by 0.90. R ends up being approximately like 15 point like six or something. All right. But turns out we could have found that exact same answer or very similar to that answer using the graph. So let's do it the graph way now. For the graph, we had $20, so this time we're going to start on the cost axis at $20 and follow the grid line over until we hit the graph and then go down. And notice it's just a little bit more than 15 based on our graph. So we can estimate that it would be about 15 rides. So on the graph, it's about 15 rides, which is the same answer as what we would have got algebraically. So there's two different methods to solving these problems, using the graph, using the equation.